This oh. is a bowling alley. Shut up! <laughs> Where are we? Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. If you didn't see my last video, I'm currently in Vancouver, because later this week, I'm gonna be visiting some family that live here in Canada. But before I head over to see them, I thought I'd spend a few days in this awesome city making some content for you all. Uh, yesterday, I picked up a stunning Bentley Continental GTC V8, which I'm gonna be using to drive to see my family in a few days time. But today, we're not actually gonna be driving the Bentley because some local car guys got in touch and offered to take me on a bit of a tour of the city to take in some sights, visit some insane real estate, and to drive one of their cars. And the car in question is a pretty good one. Actually one of my favorites. So unfortunately, the Bentley's staying in the car park. I mean, I'm guessing you already knew the car in question from the title, but yes, Today, I'm gonna to be exploring Vancouver in a Ferrari 812 GTS. But as you've probably seen behind me, it's not the only Ferrari in this garage. So let me quickly show you the other two, one of which is gonna be joining us today. It's a very good day. So let's kick off with this highly tailor-made 488 Pista. This color is Verde Oliva Opaco, um, essentially matte, olive green <laughs> and it's simply sensational as is the stripe i don't think i've ever seen a piece to stripe designed like this with the with the single rosso dino element on the left it is super cool and it actually carries over to the interior which actually if i open the door i've got to show you because not only does it have the stripe it's got green alcantara i mean that is mad look at the paddles behind the steering wheel honestly this is one of my favorite spec pistas i think i've ever seen right up my street um and very cool a bit like the uae cars it's got the spare wheel kit in the front which you don't often see but yeah super special uh, as is the 812 gts but we're going to featuring that plenty more today because I'm gonna be driving it, what is life? Um, and then this, this is the other car that will be joining us, an F12 TDF. I mean, I think if I won the Euro Millions, this would be one of the first modern Ferraris that I go and buy. I adore these things. And this car spec very nicely, like the other two Ferraris in the garage, but is made very special by, oh, let me just find the release. A couple of things hiding underneath this bonnet, so. It's not that easy doing this one-handed. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, here and here we have some very important signatures. I believe that's Piero Ferrari and then Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. I mean, three of the ultimate signatures to have on a TDF. How cool is that? Protected underneath, I think there's a proper coating uh, over that carbon fiber, so they'll always be on the car. How absolutely insane is that all? As I say, not that easy to do one-handed, but yeah, three incredible Ferraris, one of which I'm gonna be driving today. Let's go. I struggle to believe my life is real. Now, first up today, we're off to visit some properties. Uh, I mentioned it at the start of the video, uh, and that's because today's very kindly been arranged by a guy called Jesse, who amongst other things, runs an Instagram page called Luxury Listings that showcases some of the biggest, best, and most expensive properties for sale around the world. Uh, I didn't realize that Vancouver has some of the most expensive real estate in all of North America. The average price for a detached home here is $2 million. 
So yeah, as you can imagine, some of the some of the houses are fairly ridiculous. And we're gonna go and see some of the kind of coolest car-related cribs. It'll be cool. So this is our first property of the day. We've come to Shaughnessy, which is apparently a bit of an old money area of Vancouver. As you can imagine, like any big city, there are different pockets of the city and different areas of real estate, I suppose. But yeah, this traditionally is kind of old money. Uh, a lot of the houses here, therefore, are also a little bit old, but this one, was, well, basically redeveloped. Huge amount of money went into transforming it into this super contemporary home. Landscaping alone, around four million dollars. It's like, oh! Um, but it's absolutely stunning. Some incredible details, and we're just gonna walk around and take it all in. Apparently there's some big surprise waiting for me. Everyone keeps teasing me, saying so there's a big surprise. But yeah, let's just walk around and check out what a 30-odd million dollar house in Vancouver is like. Look at this, I feel like I'm in a Bond lair now. Yeah, the, the, or, 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 the, or the Bond baddie. Yeah, the beautiful the toy pond that we just saw upstairs. You can actually see the fish down here. This is mad. It's a full on aquarium now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bigger than an aquarium. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> how much is this? Like this is probably a few million just to build this. Exactly, oh. I think it yeah. costs at least a million dollars. And each yeah. koi fish, around $500 each. Oh my God. And they all have their own names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you, you remember them? No one knows. <laughs> And you were saying that this pond, or is it a pond, I guess, but yeah, it's a it koi pond. goes up in temperature in the winter exactly. so it doesn't freeze? Exactly, it's all temperature controlled, everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a temperature controlled pond. Those koi are living their best life, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they wow. love it. Wow. They love it large. So yeah. cool, look at this. Yeah, what a place it. to entertain guests out sitting yeah. here. Again, we see a lot of beautiful traditional homes, and you see a lot of crazy modern homes. This one is both, and it blends perfectly yeah. together. Super nice. I really need to work harder. Like, I need to make more money. <laughs> the house was, oh, the details of it. It's hard to capture something like that on camera without spending the entire day here filming it. But yeah, oh, I'm driving 812 GTS visiting $30 million houses. As I say, I need to work harder. Anyway, we continue. Well, Jesse and his friends definitely know how to spoil me. I was already happy enough driving a Ferrari, viewing incredible houses, but now we've come to Porsche heaven. Because yes, you know, that's how to make me happy. Ferraris and Porsches. Check out these. I'm starting to feel like there are too many signs telling me to go on Drive the World 2.0. Here are three more signs, because look at these custom-built Cayenne GTS Safaris. So yeah, as I say, these things were built by the owners for adventures. I guess kind of inspired by the Cayenne Trans-Siberia, um, proper rally-going 4x4s with these huge wheels and all the rally lights, increased suspension, and then fully kitted out with these roof racks with spare wheels and snow tracks and things like that super cool they're being used already to go out and explore and have fun in and yeah I just absolutely adore them then we've got a lovely GT2 RS a very rare roof 930 and then a beautiful 964 Carrera 2 or C2 so this is a pretty impressive lineup but I've been teased by the fact that inside things are going to get even sillier on the right, 964 Carrera RS. Obviously myself and Tony recently drove this car for the first time. This one equipped with very nice BBS style. Oh, no, actually BBS wheels. Why am I saying BBS style? They're actually BBS. Um, imported from Japan, this car. Uh, in the middle, we've got a 993 Carrera RSR Tribute. So that's a build, a bit like the GTS Safaris outside. But then next to it, an actual wheel 
Carrera RS. Absolutely immaculate, these cars. These are going for huge money these days. So super cool to see. I love the wheel design on these things. I've actually never driven a 993 generation 911. It's the kind of one era that I haven't yet experienced. Down here, we have some lovely GT products. 997.1 GT3, bit of a bargain, this car. If you're looking to get into GT product Porsches, yeah, check these out. Uh, behind it, a slightly modified uh, Gen 2 997 GT3 RS. Again, BBS wheels. BBS wheels proving very popular down here. Um, a wrapped with roof wheels, uh, 9 and 3. I think that's a Carrera S, I think, or just a Carrera. I'm not sure. Uh, another GT3 RS, but with custom Riviera Blue decals. A 912 looking very nice. And then this I want to point out. It's a super low mileage Mercedes. It's quite a random one, but look at the color. Two-tone green. <laughs> very, very cool. So, yeah, absolutely mega array of Porsches here. Okay, the whistle stop tour continues and the sun is trying to come out. So, this is a GTS after all. Oh no, hold on. I think, you know, when in Rome, as they say. Time for the next property then, and how good does this place look? I mean, how good do the cars look in front of this place? It's giving me kind of like Beverly Hills vibes. Here it's a super nice location, a little bit quiet, a little bit more out of town than the previous place. But yeah, just on initial impressions, sold, sold. I'll put a deposit down later. Now, before I fall in love with this place. Okay. What's the price? It's 22 million 950 thousand. Why would you keep doing this to me? Can't we go see like a nice two hundred thousand dollar house? Yeah, well, we think about it. Actually, you want a barn? <laughs> yeah, it's only You'll fifteen million barn. pounds. So it's if you only, convert, that's a convert good point. it. Yeah, I no, forgot. Fourteen million pounds. Bargain yeah. at that point, right? But, shoes off though for the fourteen million pounds. Right? Yes. Okay, so this property is very unique. They call it the Vancouver White House. So a lot of people might have already seen it because um, Dan Locke, okay, this success YouTuber, rented this place and claimed that he bought it. A long, Ooh, okay, long so time a little bit of controversy. So Ryan Serhant did a video on this house. So this house itself right now is 18,000 square feet on the interior. So my family actually almost bought this house uh, back in 2014 before they did the major renovation. So this property used to be just on this side and they added like another 9,000 square feet over there. So it's like a 12, 13 million dollar renovation that they did and extension. So let's just walk around here. The coolest part about this property is actually downstairs. Well, I mean, that's really cool too. But you always do this. The, <laughs> every property we go, you go, wait, there's a big surprise downstairs. Big surprise. People but, are into their basements in Vancouver, huh? Yeah, exactly, because we, we get to do a lot underground, but there's strict regulations about like what you can build above ground. I so, mean, I've just noticed. Yeah, okay, so, you're into your basements and your aquariums. Yeah, what aquariums. is this? <laughs> I mean, this is outrageous. Dude, I kind of already love this property. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I'm super into see it. This side. So, this is like the perfect party home. Okay, so when you have people over, you can come over here, oh you can play pool. God. And foosball, no, not even foosball, what is that, like ice hockey foosball? Yeah, ice hockey, that's what Canadians do. <laughs> yeah. So over here, you, you have the beautiful courtyard with the infinity edge pool. Um, yeah, oh so my God. This place is amazing. Yeah, and you got the, the web bar over here. Look at this, indoor fire. I mean, this is beautiful though. Is that a TV? That is a big TV. <laughs> you know, a pizza oven. And look at this. This oh. is a bowling alley. Shut up. <laughs> Where are we? Dude, this house is outrageous. Yeah. Look at that, it's a proper bowling alley. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Very very classy and it's mm. oh my god look at the bathtub look at this yeah it's really it's all a dance. show it literally like is set ready for a music video <laughs> i know yeah, well, I'm I'm the the yeah. it's so mad oh my god. <laughs> yeah 
It's crazy, isn't Not. it? It's crazy. It's crazy. Everything's so grand in this house, right? Wow. Yeah, it's it's fully. I like the smell of the wood as well. It's got. You're right. It's got a unique odor. Yeah, unique <laughs> odor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> An odor of expensive. <laughs> take it in. Just take, take it in. Look, like like everyone's filming. Everyone's <laughs> filming. It's just like, what's going on? Wow. Very pretty. Oh, look at here. You can see the view then across to the other side where we just were. The swimming pool as well. Any extreme viewers might want to open that window and just dive on in. Yeah, just a bunch of bedrooms on this side, and you can walk down from here as well, which we will, all the way down to, to the basement. Okay, are we doing the basement now? Are we ready for this? Do you need time to set it up? Oh, well, I mean, we don't have the cars in there yet. I oh, think. we don't have the cars in there? You've already given away a bit of a surprise. <laughs> this is it. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting now. <laughs> It's kind of, oh. kind of messy. Oh look no, at look at this. Firstly, new addition has just turned up. That wasn't here when we got here, was it? No. No, okay. Yeah. Uh, the Pista Pilates. Pilates. Super cool in satin black. Oh, TDF, right. which has been with us. Jonah and Kyra from Boring Black Cars. And look at these. We've got some old classics here as well, dude. Yeah, let's See, go. If I didn't love this house already enough, I mean, this is, look at this. You've got the bar waiting. Got the old car imagery, some old classics. This just keeps on going. That's right. If you move the furniture up here in the back, you can actually fit exactly 10 cars. 10 cars. 10 cars, yeah. Dude. We've done it before in the past. Oh my God. I would say like, keep the couch here and the TV, put eight cars around, and that's how car guys watch Formula One. I was gonna say, out, a right? Formula One watch party in here. I mean, this is, well, but, but. If you wanted to take a car that was parked here out for the Sunday drive, <laughs> <laughs> then, then, yeah, yeah, then, then yeah. you've got a bit of a problem. You gotta put like the, the classics, the ones that are not insured back here. That's exactly it. Up there. That's exactly but still, it. You got like room for four or five up there that you can pull out anytime you want, and you got a big driveway, right? Both sides. There you go. So. Okay, you're selling it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. What an amazing property. What an awesome experience. Um, and then, yeah, to be well surrounded by cars down here including F12 TDF and yeah look at this new addition to the convoy Pista Pilotti I don't I've barely seen any Pista Pilotti's I have to say out and about Again. look at that with the carbon fiber badge that's why they call Vancouver the supercar capital of North America but did you were telling me earlier so what is it it's got some stupid stat of number yeah. of supercars in comparison to ordinary yeah. cars so the highest supercars per capita in North America is Vancouver we don't have the highest amount of supercars because LA um, has more people, sure. Um, but we have the highest supercar per capita. So, on average, it's denser than anywhere else in North America. So you see these quite a bit here. Yeah. So you're so blasé. <laughs> Come on. Okay, yeah. Hands down. Not like these cars. These are super special, right? Sure. A Taylor and Hay Pisa Pelodi and a, and an F F12 TDF. You don't see these every day, but and you don't see houses like this every day. Hands down for me. House of the day. Really? House Let me of tell you the this. day. Like the, I think 23 million Canadians actually have bargained for this property. Okay, stop, stop talking. The stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> this day keeps getting better and better. You can probably tell I'm now in the Pista Pilotti. Uh, we were hanging around outside deciding where to go next, what to do next, when the owner of this car came up to me and said, oh, you want to drive the Pilotti? I was like, yes. <laughs> So I've exchanged the 812 GTS for this thing. I mean, this is, this is not a real day. Absolutely outrageous. Um, now I think we're gonna be headed to a road called Sea to Sky Highway, quite a famous picturesque road in the uh, region. We're not gonna be doing it all because we're a bit tight on time. It's already 5 p.m. So uh, just gonna have a bit of a blast and a bit of fun. And yeah, a chance for me to drive this car. If you don't know, the Pilotti was basically offered to Ferrari Challenge racing drivers. Uh, you could have your number, your race car number. It came with a special livery, uh, no sound system, super lightweight, carbon fiber wheels, etc. Aside from that, it is essentially a pista. I've <laughs> just noticed CT off on the steering wheel, which seems a bit aggressive. I think I'm going to turn that down to race <laughs> just for now. But <laughs> oh, yes.
spend time in. You can have the roof down or just put that rear window down. It's comfortable, it's luxurious. Let, I mean, can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me because in here it's suddenly raw and aggressive and dialed in. I've got a little screen showing me my tyre temperatures which are cold. Very cold, so I've got to think about that. There's no lift, the car is low, it's set up for the track for Pilotes. I'm not a Pilotes, so I've got to pay attention. Oh, but yeah, I am immediately buzzing in a completely different way to the GTS. That's a very special car and a car I love. But these honed in, focused Ferraris get me excited in a way that not many other cars do. So, yeah, this is absolutely spectacular. As this road, I'm sure, is going to turn out to be, I've heard lots about this sea to sky highway, and uh, not necessarily for its driving dynamics, but for its views. And this part of Canada, the, the western part, is one of my favourite parts of the world in terms of nature and scenery. And look at this, just the trees. I suddenly love trees trees I never really was into trees but look at those ones they're amazing well holy sheesh kebab <laughs> that was way more intense than I was expecting uh, and more dynamic than I was expecting genuinely I know I said it's more about the scenery than the actual road but no, I was wrong that was that was intense I had to concentrate a whole load more than I thought I was gonna have to so I kind of missed a lot of the incredible scenery um, but that's a good thing because, you know, focusing and driving a pista fast and hard on a good curvy road, is that's a fantastic moment. But look at this, four incredible Ferraris in a beautiful, beautiful location. It's been an amazing day. Huge thanks to Jesse and his crew for bringing out these cars, for showing me around. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been a bit of a mad one, but an insight into car life and real estate life here in Vancouver. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and stay subscribed for plenty more videos to come.